All right, today we're going to walk through the setup of a micro vapor hone. These things are phenomenal entry level blasters. Um, not really full of bells and whistles, but they're excellent additions to any work environment because these things perform. And again, you don't have to put a lot of money towards them. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do whenever you get one of these machines is, as you can see, the window is still gonna have the protective film on it. And also your exhaust stack will be on the interior. Now, this is a refurb stack, so yours will of course be much cleaner than this, but this slides on the flange in the rear. And depending on if you're working in a clean room, if you're in a, the jewelry industry or medical industry or something like that, this can actually be vented outside. Of course, the only thing that's gonna be coming out of this stack is water vapor. Now, back to the window itself. This is just a protective film that's on here. So you can either take your fingernail or some sort of plastic material to not scratch the window and peel this off. Now that you've got everything removed, you're actually ready to start adding your water and media to this machine. Now it does take two gallons of water, and then after you add the water, make sure you add the water first, you can add your five pounds of media. The media can be added directly to the hopper floor, or you can actually put it, lift it up and put it directly into the hopper itself. One thing I always forget to mention is before you actually begin filling your machine, make sure that your front ball valve is closed. Um, of course, if not, it's just going to displace all of that water that you put in your machine onto your shop floor, which of course is not what you want. Now that we've got the media and water added in the machine, on this back corner, make certain that the hoses that are coming in for the air and from the pump are not pinched underneath the floor. Sometimes when you lift the floor up and place it back down, as you'll see, they get pinched in between the floor and the actual hopper. So again, just lift it up and wrap them into the notch section where they're supposed to sit. Now the Micro does ship with a standard regulator. It does not ship with a fitting. That is so that you can actually put it into your existing airline. So here we're gonna be using a push to connect line. And so now I'm just gonna simply screw this into the back of the regulator. Now I'm good to go ahead and add my air to the machine. But before I do that, I'm gonna make sure that this front valve is pulled out. This turns the micro hone off. That way, whenever I add air to the machine, it doesn't begin pumping. So now we've got air. And again, like I was saying earlier, if this was pushed in and the regulator was turned up higher, of course it would start blasting at the full pace. I can go ahead and pull that back out. We can set our back regulator. So what we're gonna do now is set our static pressure. This is where the machine is not operating. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually sit it, set it a little bit higher to around 70. That way when I start blasting, it'll drop, it'll drop down to 60. Now, your static versus working pressure will differ in your shop depending on your compressor and airline setup. But typically at our shop, it only drops around 10 PSI. To figure out exactly what type of media you need to be running in your machine and what air pressure you need to be running at, you can always call our sales staff. Our number is 828-202-5563. We love to help you guys tailor the abrasive that you need to your part. That way you're getting the perfect finish every time. But with that, your micro hone is actually completely set up and ready to run. If you guys have any questions regarding your machine, you can call us at 828-202-5563. Thanks and have a great day.